Hi, today we're going to be talking about MetaAccess and how to generate a provider list sorted by visit dates. So we're going to show you how to sort a panel by visit dates. From the main screen you need to go to reporting. Under reports you want to make sure first of all you're picking your right primary care provider. So under demographics if you hover over this green plus sign create a drop down menu. Under the drop down menu, you want to make sure you're looking for your active patients and the right primary care provider. In this case, we will pick this primary care provider. So, once you've done that, you want to make sure you're looking at your visits. So, under visits, there is this green plus sign, and another drop down will generate. And so, from here, we are not concerned about what kind of diagnosis or concern the patient came in. We're just, we want to make sure that the patient was here within the last three years. So under the date, you can open this up and we'll go back three years. We'll go back to August 9, 2013. And to August 9, 2016. So once you have your date ranged, you can go in and either generate a patient count or an Excel report. In this case, I'm just going to generate a patient count. It's a PDF that will give you a rough estimate of what, how many patients have had a visit in the last three years. 33 patients of this physician have had a visit in the last three years and that would be your active panel. If you're looking for the people who have not had a visit in the last three years, you want to make sure you want to click the not statement and this will be the people that would fall in the category of technically being an inactive because they have not been in the clinic in the last three years. You want to be careful when you generate this report because you want to make sure that these people that have not been in the last three years don't have an up upcoming appointment. So where you see appointments, you click on this plus sign and it will open up uh, another option on appointments. So I'm going to scroll down and make sure they don't have upcoming appointments. And then we can go ahead and say in the next six months which would be fair, but that's really up to every clinic. So we want to make sure patients who have not had a visit in the last three years, who don't have an upcoming appointment with that physician, to see who are the patients that are not coming back to the clinic. You can again generate a patient count, PDF patient count, and let's confirm that again. And you have 187 patients that have not come in. You, if you want to know who these patients are, you may click here, search, and it will give you individual number. Uh, sorry, individual names. And I'm sorry, the computer is a little slow today. And there we go. You have all the patients that have not been in. This is sorted by 25 per page. You can give it. 200, 150, or whatever amount of number that this will let you. And from here, if you click on it, it will take you to the chart and you can take the action that you would like to take.